right, welcome back to Sea Squatch Fishing. This was a Monday, President's Day. I took my two boys uh, to a near shore spot where we like to sheephead fish. We just had fiddler crabs. We did bring a little bit of live shrimp too. But our goal was to get offshore and uh, find some sheephead. This is the time of year when the bigger sheepheads are supposed to be around. Uh, we got to our first spot, put the trolling motor down, and never moved. All right, we're slinging in here, E. That one might make it. Sling it in, get high. All right. Beautiful. That's definitely a 12 inch fish. Good job, E. Thank you for coming fishing, man. Thank you so much. That was on the fiddler. Oh, oh. A lane snapper. How about that? <laughs> I got one. <laughs> you got a fish, E? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. We brought live shrimp to catch uh, lane snappers. And Griffin catches a lane snapper. Not much of one, but I'm sure he's legal uh, on the fiddler crap. All right, drop back down, E. Fish box is starting to look pretty decent here already. All right, we got another hook up here on the fiddler crab. Uh, oh, red snapper. Oh, it feels like a red snapper. Look when I get on a red snapper. Red bite. snapper. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's what happens when you don't turn the camera on. Yeah, well, the camera's on, buddy. Ah. Good fish. Good fish. Head, yeah. All right. <laughs> Griffin thinks that every time I turn the camera on, it's got a good fish. It turns into a red snapper. We just proved that wrong. Finally on again. I haven't been able to fish at all. Keep losing rigs. All right, what do we got? Sure hoping for not a red snapper. They've kind of showed up here on us. And nope, it's a sheephead. He might be a keeper. I think he is a keeper. Yeah. Lob him in here. There we go. <laughs> Probably a 13, 14 inch fish. Maybe not. <laughs> might be a 12 inch fish. I got mixed. Yeah. Because of that. All right. All right. They're not big sheeps, but that one definitely is going to make it. Yeah. Well, I still got to measure that guy right there. Let's see what we got. They're about the same size. Let's see here. It's got to be 12. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this guy's almost 13. Not a lunker. I think that one's a little bigger, you got, Griff. Maybe not. Measure that guy. He barely makes 12. Yeah. That's all I think, so. You can't be picky about people. Nope. Yeah, this box not looking too bad. Is it on now? Yep, it's on right now. So I'm hooking him. I'm using a little circle hook. We're offshore here in you're required to use circle hooks when targeting reef species. Sheephead is an inshore species, but there's other fish out here. So technically, if we caught a legal sea bass or even the, that legal uh, lane snapper that Griffin caught, because we're using circle hooks, we're okay. If we were using J hooks and caught a legal fish like that, by law, we're not allowed to keep them when you're using natural baits. And someone's doubled up over here. He's gonna be mad at me for filming. If it's a red, oops. So he's got a toadfish. I don't think that's a toadfish. What you got over here? Oh, that might be the right color. Oh, that's a nice porgy. See, like that. That, that is a uh, reef species of fish. So I believe technically we have to have circle hooks in order to keep that fish, which we will. That one definitely is a keeper there. So that's why we're using circle hooks out here instead of J hooks. I think that's a uh, jolt head. Yeah, I think it's a jolt head too. This might be the longest I feel like I've had to wait for a bite of some sort. Hmm? That could be something on there. There's somebody on there. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that was why I was waiting because there was actually a fish on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, getting heavy on me here. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I got black and white stripes. Yeah. Make it. Yeah, that guy makes it for sure. He's definitely one of the bigger ones we've caught out of the last dozen. All right. Yeah. Sweet.
Mm hmm. Almost feel like something got me there. There he is. I knew there was somebody on there. I knew there was somebody. He ain't much. He ain't much of a fish. But, but, ooh, now he's trying to get heavy. Still not going to be much of a fish. It's a red snapper. You think the red snappers move through? Well, I'm not thinking I don't have a red snapper. I'm thinking I have a, a, a mini. Uh, he's not going to make 12 inches, but. Dang. Dang. Might have got me. Ooh, might be back. There he is. He came back for it. Dang, this might be a better fish. I know my drag's pretty darn loose. All right. What do we got here? It's really weird, you know, I don't feel like these sheephead off here, out shore here, bite like the ones, you know, inshore around the jetties or whatever. You, you feel a bite and he's not on there, then you let set it back down, and then there's a, you know, they come back and get it like they, it's really bizarre. This one I think's gonna keep. This might be one of the better ones of the day for sure. Yeah. No need to measure that guy. He's going to make it for sure. All right, last fish of the day. If he's on there. Oh, yeah, let's bring him in here. Take that guy. It's a little guy. Last fishy or sheepy of the day. All right, so that was it. We enjoyed just a beautiful day. Never saw another boat. We fished for about two and a half hours. We were really happy with our cooler there. Uh, right before we headed in, I went ahead and covered all the fish up in ice for our short boat ride back to Mayport. The ride in was just as nice as it could be, pretty and flat. Got home in time to clean all the fish and do a little gut bucket dump in the afternoon uh, to feed the birds and the fish that live right out at the end of our street. So if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you watching and see you next time.